So, we got game one of the series. This is going to be a long series, especially if we don't do the things we're supposed to. This might be a stressful series, but what's good, YouTube? It's your boy, MG Nas, and I'm back again with another NBA basketball bubble video. And we got... We got the Sixers versus Celtics series. This is game one, for the preview and predictions. So make sure you hit that like, share, subscribe, hit that notification bell. And sh like I said, share it out to all your friends. We are on the road to 100 as we are at 83 currently. So I appreciate all of you subscribed and watching and liking now. Make sure you share it out and let's build a, com a community and a great family here at the MG Nas YouTube channel. Now, let's get right into this. So, we got the Celtics. We got the Celtics. Um, I've talked to people about this series. Um, some people even have us getting swept. Now, I know we're I don't think we're gonna get swept. Um, I think we can maybe win one game. Um the highest, I think, I don't think, the highest we can probably go is maybe taking the seven games. Like, if I'm being realistic, I mean, obviously, a team like the Sixers, um, with our talent, we have a chance. I mean, we have one of the biggest lineups in the league. Um, we're running a two-center lineup or um, the Twin Tower lineup. That's what they call, like, two centers or whatever they call it. Um you got Tobias Harris. I mean, we we got talent, but the way we're playing right now and our bench play and everything, we're going to get into that, though. So I think we do have a chance at this one, but we're we going to get into all that now. But first, um, um, man, I, want, I just want to get into the series. I want to get into um the matchup. So obviously, um... We got MB versus Daniel Tice. Um, do I have to explain that? Because I, I think it's I think it explains itself when I say both names. And Joel B versus Daniel Tice. Exactly. Thank you. Let's move on to the next question. Um, we have Jason Tatum versus Hal Horford. Is Jason Tatum playing power forward or small forward? Because I know they have Kemba. They have Jalen Brown at shooting guard. Or you can have Gordon Hayward at small forward. So if Tatum... Okay. All right. If Tatum is at power forward, then it, that might be an Al Horford matchup nightmare. Actually, for the Celtics, that might be a night, matchup nightmare. So at the center and power forward position, we already have the edge in that. Then they, But they do have the edge. They have Kemba and Jalen Brown. We have Shake Milton and Josh Richardson. Um, they, they, they win that. And then they have Marcus Smart coming off the bench. They have cancer. They have Wanamaker. Um, these guys have been serviceable. These guys, especially Marcus Smart, have been great for them off the bench. And guys like, uh, Williams, Wanamaker, um, I know Enos Cancer. Um, those guys have been good off the bench for the Celtics. Um, so they, I think... <sighs> Their, their bench is not that good, but it, they their bench plays play good in the Brad Stevens coaching system. Um, and I think that's what's most important. You don't have to have all the bench talent like the Clippers. Or you don't have to, yeah, you don't have to have a Lou Will, a Montrezl Harrell coming off the bench. But you need to your bench players have to fit your system, and that's what the Celtics bench players are. Our bench players, we they they're okay, but like I feel like our coach, Brett Brown, who we're gonna get into in a second. I feel like he doesn't coach our bench the way that he's supposed to. He doesn't put the right bench lineup. And I feel like, you know, he kind of confuses stuff. So that leads to my next topic. Um, As you know, if you've been following the Sixers all year, we do not want Brett Brown here anymore. He is, I'd say, the top five worst coaches in the league. Um, As far as coaching candidates, that video will come out when he is officially fired. But I, I said some good candidates out there, but... Brad Brown, we do not want him here. And if he gets first rounded, I, I can almost guarantee that he should be fired. And I think he will be fired. Um, 
Brett Brown is literally going to get out coached every single game. Even if we win, he might get out coached. Our talent just might win us that one, two, or maybe even possible three. But he's going to get out coached for all games, for every game. It's just a Brett Brown thing to do. Like I said, I think he's the bottom five worst coach. Um, you can watch any other Philly YouTuber. You can watch RB. You can watch Philly Mike. You can watch um, you can watch uh, DJ Eastwood. You can watch any of those guys. You can watch Broads and oh, well, Broads doesn't really talk bad bad on Brett Brown, but like people like RB and DJ Eastwood, those people right there, they know how Brett Brown is, and they know how you know the misery that he brings to us and how he is one of the worst coaches in the league, and he's going to get out coached this series. So as far as the coaching matchup, Boston, they got that all the way. Brad Stevens is a phenomenal coach. He coaches his team to max their, the max their talent. His system, is his players fit his system. And if they didn't fit his system when they first got there, he developed them into fitting his system. And that's what I like about a guy like Brad Stevens. Um, and I think they win the coaching battle. Now, as far as... Um, as far as the defensive battle, it the they I feel like we win the inside defensive battle, but they win the perimeter defensive battle. Now, why do I say that? Because they got guys on the perimeter like Marcus Smart, Jalen Brown, and Jason Tatum, who are um Tatum's not that great at defender, but Tatum's good. Um, Jalen Brown's not the best perimeter defender, but he's good for his position. And Marcus Smart is I think he's one of the best perimeter defenders in the game. So you got guys like that who can really guard the perimeter. But you got us. We have Al Horford and Joel Embiid who will be guarding the inside. And I think that is a favorable matchup for us right there. As far as rebounding, as far as shot blocking, I feel like we do win that. And I think everyone agrees with me. At least 90% of y'all should agree with me here. Um, But, man... um. I cannot wait for this series. This is a this is a rivalry right here. This is a rivalry. Sixers Celtics. This is a rivalry. Six thirty, man. So we we this is a rivalry right here. No matter if it's a sweep, no matter if it's a one game, four game series, five, six, or seven. This is gonna be a fun series nonetheless, just because it is the Boston Celtics, and I hate the Boston Celtics. So the videos are gonna be fun. We got some NFL content coming. And my series, my game prediction for game one, um, I say this is game one. Both teams have rested. Well, we did. We both teams have rested their starters in the second half of the last couple of games. Um, so both teams are pretty well rested. Um, both teams, I think both teams pretty much know what their lineups will be. Looking at game one, looking at how the momentum is. See, Boston, they played okay in their eight games, but they didn't play great. I'm not just going to sit here and say that they played great. Um, Boston, I, and I know we didn't play any better, but Boston did not play that great. Um, honestly, this this is going to be a tough game one. As as much as, you know, I want to give my team a chance. And, and a lot of people are probably in the comments right now. Oh, it's obviously Boston. Well, you don't really know that because I I know we can win one or two. We can we have the talent to win three games in this series and take them to seven. But will we do it? I think. I honestly think Boston wins this, but it's not as by much as y'all think. Um, I think Boston wins this. I'll say one twenty nine to one twenty three. I'll say they beat us by six. Um, they'll close out in the fourth quarter, and you know we don't really have any closers in the fourth quarter. But I think it's gonna be you know both teams coming off of a few days, two, three days of rest. The Sixers haven't played since Friday. Boston, I don't think they play since Thursday. So both teams are well rested, especially their starters of both teams are well rested. So I'm ready to see this series. Um, like I said, no matter what, if it's a four game sweep or a seven game series that comes down to the last shot again this is going to be a fun series nonetheless so make sure y'all stay tuned for this great content share it out to everybody because you can come right to this channel 
after and before every single game and get some type of content, whether it's a video, live stream. I think I am the best Sixers guy you can come to. So make sure y'all come back for the whole playoffs. And even when the, if the Sixers get eliminated, we still have some other types of content as far as the football season coming back. And we still got some other NBA content like live stream and play-by-play games and, you know, covering other teams, not just the Sixers. But right now we got the Sixers and Celtics, so we're going to focus on this series, focus on dropping content for y'all on this series, and we will move on in the future. So I appreciate y'all for watching this. Make sure you like the video. As you comment and subscribe to the channel and share it out to all your friends and family and sports fans around the world. As we are on the road to 100 subs, we are currently at 83. So I would appreciate if y'all just share it out and just tell people about me. I mean, they don't have to subscribe, but at least, you know, just give them a chance, you know, to watch me to see if they like me. And, you know, let's build this community and this family. Um, and I appreciate y'all for watching. It's been your boy, MG Nice. It's been a pleasure making this great content for y'all. And I'm out. Peace.